McVeigh. Down under the challenge and the free kick. Now then, there's something interesting because Giacomo Briani will be sent off. Welcome to Instant Replay for the 2024 Major League Soccer season. I'm your host, Andrew Wiebe, and as always, we're taking a closer look at the most controversial refereeing decisions in Major League Soccer. We kicked the opening show of the year off in Los Angeles. Enter Miami and Lionel Messi in town, and oh, look at this, the GOAT scoring a game-tying goal late on. Only, we don't cover goals. We cover refereeing decisions, so we wind it back a few minutes to the 87th minute. LA up 1-0, even men, 11 v 11. And Mark Delgado goes in to block the Sergio Busquets pass. Delgado slides in, and it's called for the foul by referee Gabriele Ciampi. Okay, I can see the foul on this one, only Ciampi reaches for his pocket and produces a yellow card. That's a second yellow to Mark Delgado, and he's off, setting the stage for Messi's equalizer. This is not a yellow card. In fact, I'm not sure I see any contact on Sergio Busquets. Watch this closely. Clearly, Delgado's trying to block the pass. He spaces out that challenge from the player accordingly. I don't see contact, and yet Busquets goes down. Ciampi, for me, was fooled by the Barca, Spain, and now Miami legend. This should not have been a yellow card, in my opinion. I may not have agreed with that one, but well done to Ciampi in the 11th minute. Sergio Busquets trying his best to chase down new Galaxy DP Joseph Pancil in the box. And yeah, Sergio, when you're going to grab the shoulder and pull back noticeably, referee's going to point to the spot. Good PK decision by Ciampi. So I didn't like that second yellow and red card to Delgado, but I agree with the two yellows that went to Giacomo Vrioni in the DC New England match. Let's start with the first. This is just a silly play by Vrioni. Steps up, blocks the free kick. Yep, yellow card all day, every day. And then in the 25th minute, madness. Vrioni to the sideline, sliding in on McVay. That's a reckless challenge, and it's a second yellow. Vrioni is off. Well done to the referee, Andrew Musashi. Two more plays from this match, 46th minute. Esmir Barakterovic is bearing down on Pedro Santos right outside the penalty area. Santos challenges, Barakterovic goes down. That is a foul called by Musashi. The question is whether or not it's a penalty. The call on the field for Musashi is a penalty. Watch this closely. Barakterovic is just outside the area when the contact occurs. Musashi sees that on the replay and reverses the call on the field. No PK. Well done to the crew. This razor thin offside call in the 72nd minute might split opinions just a little bit more. Christian Benteke, who gets a hat trick in this match, is scoring his second, but is he offside? Watch closely down the line. For me, I'm focused on the right shoulder of Benteke. That, in my opinion, is his body part that's the farthest forward that's eligible to score. My issue as I look down the line is I'm not sure where the Revs defender is placed given he's blocked by DC United's left back. So while my brain is saying, hey, that looks offside, it's also whispering, Oh, but is it clear and obvious? In my opinion, it's not clear and obvious, and therefore the call in the field stands. That's a goal. Let me know what you think. All right, to Nashville we go. Sean Davis going high, and he's going hard. 22 minutes in, referee Christian Campo Hernandez has a big decision to make. Hernandez goes red, serious foul play. And I understood that watching it live. Only VAR sent Hernandez to the monitor and the call was downgraded to a yellow card. Yes, it looks terrible. And Peter Stroud is not happy about it. But Stroud did not get kicked in the face. He's kicked in the shoulder if you watch closely. And I don't think the degree of contact quite rises to the level that I would need for serious foul play. Therefore, in my opinion, yellow is the correct decision. The champs are here, Columbus, Atlanta. We start in the 18th minute. Brad Guzan looks like he's in big trouble outside his 18-yard box stopping a shot with his arm. That could be a red card, right? Well, it could if there wasn't offside in the buildup. What Bonilla saw is Mo Farsi clearly and obviously offside. That negates everything that happens after that moment. Therefore, no red card, no trouble for Guzan. Well done to the crew. 47th minute, Mo in behind, and he goes down. On the field, the AR raises his flag for offside on Mo Farsi. The VAR calls Bonilla to the monitor. Watch closely, down the line. In this case, Farsi is clear and obvious onside. And as you watch the play develop, you can see Gregerson bump through the back of him with enough force, in my opinion, for a foul and a penalty. Bonilla points to the spot. 
Cucho takes and misses the penalty. But for this show's purposes, what's most important, the call on the field, in my opinion, was correct. To Philly we go. The Fire are in town, 47th minute, and Daniel Gazdog is scoring a goal. He does this quite often. Only, the offside line is very tight here, and the VAR sees a clear and obvious offside offense in his opinion, and Hassan concurs. For me, when the cross is played, it looks like the ball has not yet reached the six-yard box line. Whereas Gazdog, in my opinion, is hovering over that line when the cross is made, putting him in an offside position. This is a tough one. What decision would you make? Another offside call, slightly more obvious in the Houston Sporting Kansas City game. 42nd minute, Brad Smith is scoring with the cue ball only. Ah, uh, no, it's offside. Had a lot of people in my Twitter mention saying, hold on, Brad Smith is clearly onside, and he is. But Coco Karaskia is not, as he comes back to receive the ball in the attacking phase of play. Because of that, the entire play afterward is wiped out. Well done by the referee crew for spotting this one. This might have been the worst tackle of the weekend. Orlando, Montreal, 31st minute. Wilder Cartagena through the back of Matias Cocaro. It's a yellow card, says Rafael Santos, the referee. No review is initiated, but I'm hitting the brakes on this one. And when you hit the brakes, what color is it? It's red, folks. I see Cartagena with pace coming through the back of Cocaro in a scissor tackle through the plant leg. For me, that is the definition of endangering the safety of your opponent and should be serious foul play and a red card. I would have liked to see Cartagena sent off. And finally, 29th minute, Anthony is clearly onside, even with the final defender in the buildup to this beautiful goal. It was called offside on the field, but the video review process did its job. The goal stands and match day one is in the books for instant replay. If you see something, say something. Big thank you to our editor and producer, Phil Lavanco, who does the lion's share of the work on this one. What can I say? I just take all the credit. Oh, and thank you too, Rich Hernandez. Your expertise is appreciated. Until next week, we'll see you next time.